Hey everybody, my name is Nolan Tsuchiya. I'm a professor of mechanical engineering here at Cal Poly Pomona. Um, in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of our control systems lab, and I'll show you some of the hardware that we use and also what we use it for. Now, keep in mind that this is a 360 virtual tour of our lab space, so you know definitely pay attention to what I'm saying, but you can also feel free to look around the room and explore the space a little bit. So the control systems lab is one of several instructional labs in our department here. Uh, it's a small space, but it's pretty dense with experiments and hardware. Uh, now this space serves as instruction as well as research, um, but we're gonna start over here on the instructional side. Now our classical feedback controls course is a required core course with a required lab component. And so all students in mechanical engineering will eventually come through this lab. Uh, on these two islands over here, we've got eight PC workstations, which are all set up to talk to these eight experiments, which are called the Quanzer Cube Servo 2. Now, these are fully integrated modular servo motor experiments, and they're designed for teaching mechatronics and classical control concepts at the undergraduate level. Uh, now, our students are going to use these throughout the semester to reinforce the lecture material as they explore concepts like system modeling, uh, time domain specification, system stability, steady state error, PID control, root locus control design, as well as some frequency domain analysis towards the end of the semester. Uh, students who take an interest in mechatronics and control are also invited to pursue undergraduate or graduate research on these experimental platforms over here. Now, we've got several what are called QBots and QCARs, which are experimental open platforms for conducting research in robotics and autonomy. Now, the QBots over here actually come with a lot of courseware, so integrating these into a course would be relatively straightforward. However, these are primarily reserved for students wanting to conduct research in robotics and mechatronics. Now, the QCARs over here, on the other hand, are a pure research platform. They feature an array of uh, sensors, including LiDAR, 360 vision, depth sensors, inertial measurement units, as well as encoders, and they're all powered by an NVIDIA embedded control, uh, I'm sorry, an NVIDIA embedded computing device. Now, the cue cards are currently being used by graduate students who are conducting research in the field of autonomous vehicles, and the hardware that you see here has essentially been the foundation for several master's projects and theses over the past few years. Okay, so that's a quick rundown on the controls lab here in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Cal Poly Pomona. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.